Hey gang, this morning in our Zoom lesson, we talked a lot about the Transcontinental Railroad and how the Progressive Era and the Gilded Age was not necessarily progressive nor golden for one particular group of people, Native Americans. Now, in 1865, the nation had to rebuild itself, we know. The Gilded Age happened where we see massive industry and growth. We also see that the nation is going to become very wealthy and very poor at the same time. We're going to see a progressive era happen from about 1900 to from about 1890 to 1920, where social, political, and economic reforms are going to be created. Unfortunately, another group of people is going to be left out in this: Native Americans. Now, in our unit in the Native American West from 1865 to 1900, we're looking at a couple of things: How was the West settled by whites, and what were the effects of this settlement? Is it more of a conquering? Is it more of a capturing? Is it more of an invasion? Is it stealing? What is it? Now, some of the things that wrote down from this morning's video are the following. In 1865, we see that the nation is completely destroyed after the Civil War. Blacks, who are now free from the Civil War, and ex-Confederate soldiers, and some Union soldiers who lost everything, decided to move west and try to work on this railroad that would be constructed that would link the east and west. Hell on Wheels, as it was called, the Transcontinental Railroad would link St. Louis, Missouri to California. It would link up after seven years of construction at Promontory Point, Utah in 1869. Now, you have free blacks and ex-Confederates, and you also have a lot of Chinese immigrants, 15,000 to be precise, that are going to move in and are going to now build this railroad across the West. Tremendous pros, tremendous cons. The pros, we're going to see that it's going to connect the East and West. It's going to fill in the Midwestern states. So now it's going to also create industry and farming in this Midwestern part of the United States. We're also going to see a massive agricultural boom with herding animals and with uh, growing corn and wheat. We're also going to see more jobs created for those building the railroad, those moving into these boomtown cities along the railroad, and we're also going to see the settlement of the West, and this benefits the United States. One of the things, too, is this also makes trade and communication faster from East and West. Now, we get to the cons list, and it's kind of a lot bigger. The buffalo is going to be killed off. This animal is basically, which was between 40 million and 60 million roaming the plains prior to European um, uh, expansion into the North and South American continent, we're going to basically see the buffalo be killed off. By 1900, there are going to be less than 500 wild buffalo in the West. You're looking at the killing of millions of buffalo which is also going to impact Native American settlements as Native Americans who followed the buffalo, who relied on the buffalo, now see that as the whites are killing off the buffalo, they're actually not just doing it so they can get their hides and food, but they're doing this so they can also ensure that the Native culture dies with it. So we're also going to see that as the buffalo are killed, the Natives are going to starve and die off from this as well. The railroads are going to go right through some of the holiest lands of the Sioux and the Paiute Indians. We're also going to see that land is going to be destroyed because of the building of the railroad as TNT and rail and wood are now going to be laid and just destroy the landscape of the West in the building of this railroad and, lying and laying telegraph wires. We're also going to see on the railroad the persecution of Chinese and Blacks. Whites are still going to be in charge of building this railroad, and ex-Confederates in charge of this are going to seem more like masters than overseer foremen in terms of how they treat blacks in building this railroad. So free blacks and immigrants who moved west hoping to seek some freedom and opportunity, unfortunately, are going to see some of the same racism and scrutiny as they move further west. We're also going to see that... Um, that Chinese immigrants are Chinese immigrants, excuse me, are also going to be impacted, and in their sense, they're going to help build the railroad, but they too will also face racism and scrutiny in developing their communities in the western parts of California, Oregon, and Washington. When we get into our next uh, Zoom lesson and discussion, we're going to talk more about the native peoples themselves, in particular the Nez Perce. 
Chief Joseph, and the Sioux, Sitting Bull, and how these tribes were heavily impacted and also how they responded to the Western migration and movement and settlement and invasion of American settlers during the 1860s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you're enjoying reading the document and be good.